Liberty Me. I'm Kyle Platt here with Tatiana Moroz, a musical artist and a new entrepreneur of cryptocurrency. Uh, hey, hey, it's uh, really good to talk to you again. Nice to talk to you too. Yeah, so I mean, we met during the Great Liberty Me Party in Washington, D.C. at the uh, International Students for Liberty Conference uh, 2014 or 13? 14, yeah, there we go. Uh, and it was just a great time. I mean, I, I know I had a great time. Yeah, no, it was an awesome event. I uh, I had actually flown in from Berlin because I had done the Inside Bitcoins conference out there, and I flew in especially to to make it to the party. So it was a long, long trip, and you know there was that big snowstorm, so I didn't think I'd make it, but but it was a big success. Absolutely, we had a ton of fun. So this coming Monday, you're having a launch party for your own cryptocurrency, and you know Bitcoin has been in the news, it's been in mainstream uh, media outlets, the Wall Street Journal, Time Magazine, etc. Uh, it's, it's really the talk of uh, the financial world. So uh, what, what made you decide to start your own cryptocurrency and uh, you know, give us the rundown on, on what that is? Well, it's, very, it's basically an announcement of the currency. We're not launching it exactly. We're still figuring out exactly how we're gonna do. Um, I've been approached by several different companies to do a cryptocurrency. Um, I guess I'm the very first ever artist coin, which is pretty exciting and I'm very flattered. And I decided to team up with MasterCoin. So they've been giving me some support in terms of figuring out exactly how to do it. And we're still formulating everything. Um, a friend of mine works for a crowdfunding company. It's not confirmed yet that I'm going to do it on there, but um, so I'll leave that out for now. But uh, we're probably going to do it through a crowdfunding just in order to kind of introduce people into the idea. I think that trying to get people to understand what a cryptocurrency is in the first place is really difficult, especially yeah. one that's named after me. <laughs> My friends are like, I don't get it. Where are you going to do make money out of thin air? And I'm like, I don't know, but the guys know. <laughs> <laughs> and the girls, there's some girls on the team too. But, um, you know, I, for me, I think it's a really great opportunity. It's a really great opportunity to learn about something and to be on the cutting edge and be the guinea pig. So I'm, I'm really psyched about it. And on Monday night, there's the Inside Bitcoins conference is going to be in New York, and we're doing the party at the Bitcoin Center down uh, by the New York Stock Exchange. So we're getting a DJ, and it holds a lot of people, and we're getting booze, so I think it's going to be really fun. I'll perform, and uh, really looking forward to it. So, yeah, that, that sounds great. Um, but, you know, artists nowadays, it seems like they don't know exactly how to make money or or how the industry is working because the music industry has changed a lot uh you know i mean even going back to the early 2000s late 90s with napster and 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 digital downloads um and and less and less artists are getting on mainstream labels uh so how do you think that artists developing their own currencies might help that well, I've been involved in the music industry for a while now, and I've worked at a lot of different recording studios in New York. And all the time, there's these really, really terrible artists that are getting funded, and the really good artists that I know aren't getting funded. So this has really eaten away at me uh, over the past few years, and it's very frustrating, you know, when, I don't know, I feel like a lot of the mainstream music in general is pretty crappy. So... um there's, there's of course the, you know, the Indiegogo type model where it's crowdfunding, but I feel like that's jumped the shark just a little bit. I think it needs to remain on the cutting edge. I think they're a great company, um, but I'd like to see them kind of move a little bit further into cryptocurrency. Um, so, oh shoot, I think I'm like revealing all the beans right now, so I'm trying to backpedal. But anyway, I think that there's a really great way that you can involve artists with their fans with more of an incentive than just giving them a prize, you know, all great a signed CD because now if you incorporate a cryptocurrency into that, people have a vested interest in seeing you do well because now they have a monetary reward that they get and they get access to more perks down the line as well for holding on to that currency. So the way that we're picturing it working right now is to involve the fan base and make them part of the family. If they believe in me, then they're almost sort of like shareholders in Tatiana, but a little bit different. So it's a completely new model, and I think it's a really cool thing for indie artists that are not being served by the current music industry um, paradigm. That's really interesting. Yeah, okay, so fans as shareholders and the artist. I like that idea. Well, uh, do you want to play a song for us? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, well, what do you guys want to hear? I was thinking maybe the Bitcoin song would be would be appropriate. Oh, that sounds great, yeah. Okay. 
Nazi. Um, so just to give you a little bit of background on this, I um, actually, Jeffrey Tucker, he had his cryptocurrency convention in Atlanta um, last October in 2013. And I had purchased Bitcoin from Tony Glippy in 2012 when he had sponsored me to play at the Ron Paul Festival down in Tampa. But when he told me about it, I was like, all right, dude, what can I buy? I don't understand. Here's some money. Just give me some and we'll see what happens. <laughs> And I didn't understand what it was and, you know, but then when it started going up, I was really excited. I was like, I need to really get on top of this. So I got a chance to go down to uh, Jeffrey Tucker's conferences um, in Atlanta. And that's when I realized that that energy and that palpable excitement that I was feeling was just like when we all thought Ron Paul could win. And to me, the solution with, um, with the cryptocurrency is that you know, you don't even have to stand outside with a big picket sign. You could just withdraw your consent. You can go along your day and you can uh, incorporate Bitcoin into your life pretty easily. And you'll still be voting against the war. You'll still be getting a larger portion of your money. Um, I think it's a really great way to support uh, charities. I'm wearing the BitKiv t-shirt. I don't normally wear t-shirts, but I think they're a great organization. Um, and it's a way for charities to gain value as, as they go along. You know, if they leave their money in Bitcoin, the hopes... The hope is that it's going to go up. I mean, we're in a little bit of a slump now, but I don't at all think that it's not going to go up in, in ways that most of the population don't even anticipate. So I played this song at the Buenos Aires Bitcoin Conference after I'd been inspired, and uh, here it is. Um, okay. So, all right, take it away. All right. I didn't want to give any of my money to a nation based on war. I wanted to be free, nothing holding me back from where I want to go. I thought about it, I thought about it, what was the choice that I made? It was to take away the money, don't give up your money, use Bitcoin whenever you pay. Use Bitcoin whenever you pay. I didn't want to waste any of my time working for the government. I wanted to be kind, open up my mind, just like an instrument. I thought about it, I thought about it. What was the choice that I made? It was to take away the money. Don't give up your money. Use Bitcoin whenever you pay. Use Bitcoin whenever you pay. That was fantastic. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks. So, um, yeah, so now the cryptocurrency is going to be helping me raise money for um, my next album where I'm going to do a full version of the song. Right now I have on the on my YouTube, Tati Forevermore Tatiana, I have just the jingle so it doesn't have the bridge, it doesn't have that third verse, and I really want to do it with a full band, so... Uh, that's kind of what's on the horizon in addition to touring and uh, in general, like encouraging people to maybe artists to to start their own cryptocurrencies and figuring out how that's going to look for the future. Okay. Well, you know, that's a conversation that we need to keep having because uh, I really do. I, I agree with you. I think that cryptocurrency could really do a lot of great things for uh, the many independent uh, music artists that we have. So uh, everybody check it out Monday night, uh, Tatiana Moroz and the launch of the Tatiana coin and uh, all sorts of fun stuff. So uh, thanks for coming on. Thanks very much. All right. Have a great day. You too. Bye.